it's Danny. welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a classic trifle recipe. It's the day before Christmas and that is what I have committed to to bring along to family and friends. Uh, so I'm actually making two of them today. I'm making one for a friends gathering tonight for Christmas Eve and then I'm making one for our family lunch tomorrow. I love this recipe, it's really budget friendly, it's easy to make, it's quick and everybody loves it. Now I know there is, at least I know with the people around me, there is a bit of a um, reputation of trifle of people not really liking it, but everyone that have ta has tasted this recipe has absolutely loved it. Um, Matt's mum has made it for many, many years and I've started making it and everyone where I've bought this recipe has really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to bring you along for the ride. I wasn't originally going to... Um, make a video of this recipe but since you all um, love uh, no bake quick simple recipes I thought I'd, that I thought that I would bring you along for the ride if you want the full recipe um, and all of the ingredients please down in the description there is a link to my blog so if you go over there you will get all of the ingredients I made the custard because it needed to cool down before I started filming so Everything that you need for the custard is in the is over on the blog. Uh, you could also buy a really good quality custard as well if you didn't want to make your own custard. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is a store-bought unfilled sponge cake, which I have cut into I can bring it up closer. I've cut into sort of battens. All I've done is cut it up so that it is in small bite-sized pieces. You don't want them too small. And then all I did was I sprinkled a quarter of a cup of sweet sherry. So I'm going to go into my cupboard and show you the sweet sherry that I used. So this is the one that I used, I, this is not sponsored, not affiliated, this is basically the one that got recommended to me when I went to the liquor, when I went to the bottle shop and asked for a sweet cherry. They said this will do, it cost me about $7 for a 750ml bottle and it's going to make many trifles. So just a quarter of a cup and I just sprinkled it over the uh, sponge cake. The next thing that I did is, and I did this at the very, very beginning, was to mix up raspberry, one packet of raspberry jelly, according to package directions, and I've put it into the fridge, and I'm, I've am i waited for it to semi-set. So you'll see that as I push my th spoon through it, it's not a liquid, so when I'm actually dripping it off my spoon, it kind of clumps off, it doesn't pour off like a liquid would. And I want it to be like that because I want some of that jelly to soak into my sponge cake, but I don't want the sponge to become saturated. So all I'm going to do now is take my spoon and just evenly pour the jelly over the top. You could, if you wanted, make your own sponge. I actually find that the store-bought one works better than one that I make at home, which is why I always use the store-bought one, but there's no reason that you can't use uh, your own homemade one if you want to. I just buy, I just went to Woolworths and bought their unfilled sponge, and they come in a packet of two sponges, which is great, because you can either freeze one and use one for your trifle or use one for something else. But in the case of where I'm taking this um, to two different places, it works out perfectly because it'll be one sponge per trifle. And I kind of organized it where I would take the same thing to both places, which means I can easily double up on all of my ingredients but also it means I'm not having an extra cake lying around for I don't know what use 
because they're both being used. You could also double the recipe if you wanted to, but I find that one trifle amongst a whole lot of other food is more than enough. I like doing this in a glass dish because people can really see the layers uh, before you cut into it, but if you don't have a glass dish, you can make this in any 12 cup container. I tend to like this one because it comes with a lid and it really makes it really easy to transport. What I'm going to do now that I've done the jelly is I want it to go ahead and set a little bit more. So I'm going to put it in the fridge for the next 15 minutes. And when we come back, we are going to do the fruit layer and then we're going to go ahead and cover it with the custard. All right, our next step is to add our peaches to the top of our jelly and sponge cake. So what I've done, this was an 820 gram can of peaches that I have drained really, really well. Um, you can reserve the juice and drink it or do something else. I, they are in syrup. All I'm going to do is evenly scatter the peach slices all over the trifle. And I want them to be as even as possible, which means when someone takes some of the trifle, trifle when it's scooped onto their plate, they get a mouthful of each of the different layers. Okay, I have added our peaches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back into the fridge and I'm going to get the custard prepared. So I've already made the custard, um, or you could use store-bought if you're wanting to use store-bought, a nice quality store-bought custard. Um, but I'm going to whisk in some cream just to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to get to that part. All right, so now what I'm going to do is get on with my custard layer. So I made my custard earlier this morning I put it into a shallow dish so it would cool quickly. Then I lined it and I pressed on top some Glad Wrap or cling film and I allowed it to cool completely so it is cold to the touch. Now what I want to do, because it kind of solidifies and um, solidifies when it's cooling, what I want to do is whisk it up so it's nice and smooth. So you'll see it becomes kind of gelatinous and it just you know, falls out in one big clump and I want it to become nice and smooth. So with a whisk, I'm just going to get in there and as I whisk it, it will become more and more smooth. If, if you have the time, I highly recommend making this custard over Buying it, it is much, much cheaper to make and it tastes a lot better than the store-bought. So now what I'm going to do, as I've broken it up a little bit, I'm going to add 100 mils of cream. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the custard nice and light and airy. You just want to be gentle at this stage until it incorporates completely. There we go. We have our beautiful custard and cream mixture and now I'm going to evenly spread it over the peach layer. Again, you want to try and get it as nice and even as possible so that when someone takes a bite, they get a little bit of each of the layers. Okay, so there we go. Our custard layer is on. I like to give it just a little bit of a shake just to get the custard into all of the nooks and crannies. Okay, so we're up to the last layer, which is whipped cream. I have whipped um, this cream up until it has reached sort of somewhere between a soft and a stiff peak. You don't want to over whip it. Um, so I've whipped that. I haven't added anything. It's just cream. I haven't added any sugar or any sweetener or any um, vanilla essence or any other kind of flavoring. All I'm going to do is make an even layer across the top of my custard and then the last thing to finish it off is just to add some almond flakes. The one thing that I have to say is with this trifle I often think to myself with every layer is it enough and it definitely is. Um, 
if you make this trifle exactly as the recipe says, the flavors are completely balanced and it's really delicious. So don't be afraid, every layer there is an, enough to fill a 12 cup, uh, sorry, a 12 cup container. Okay, and the last thing is to scatter some flaked almonds over the top. And there we have it. We have a beautiful trifle that I'm going to take to our friends tonight um, so we can enjoy this. If you can see here, I'm going to lift it up. You'll see all the beautiful layers. That's why I like using a glass dish. Um, we are going to enjoy this. I hope you make this. I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it as much as my friends and family do. And I will see you next time for the next episode of Do It Fruit.